Hello everybody, uh, welcome to the Jade Harvester uh, full set review. Um, today I'm going to be going over my gear as well as my skills and uh, show you a little bit of gameplay of how exactly this build works. Um, first off, we have five pieces of the Jade Harvester's Joy. I'm sorry, the Jade Harvester set. Um, on my Jade Harvester's Joy here, I'm stacking Haunt Damage. Um, haunt damage is going to be important for your big nukes because Haunt does a lot more damage than Locust Swarm, so you might as well support that. Um, here you can see also on my Eucopian Serpent, I'm also stock, stock, stacking Haunt damage. Um, I got Cold damage on my Amulet and on my Bracers. Not fortunate enough to find that stone of jordan yet um the quetzalcoatl that is very important to this build what is essentially doing is doubling your damage by making your skills deal their damage in half the time um the way that works with your soul harvest nuke with the six piece set effect is it essentially doubles the damage um, in order to wear this, you have to have the Ring of Royal Grandeur. You can farm it from Act 1 Bounties. Um, also, your weapon, the lower attacks per second, the higher the damage is going to be. Um, you're not looking at the blue damage. You're looking at that white damage, where it says 1590 to 2114. Uh, that's going to make your haunts hit a lot higher than if you had some higher attack speed weapon. Um, yes. belt, using the witching hour, because right now I can tank stuff. If you need to, you can use the, um, locust swarm belt that slows the enemies, as well as gives you a nice toughness boost over some legacy witching hour that I have. Um, also note here on my Eucopian Serpent, 30% of my damage is being redirected towards my dogs. And that'll lead me into my skills. I have Summon Zombie Dogs with a lifelink. That's an extra 10% absorbed. So totaling about 40% of the damage is being redirected to my dogs. That helps keep me alive uh, in the higher torment levels. Resentful Spirit. That's going to uh, help me get out more haunts in a shorter amount of time. Um, very important. The more haunts you have, the more area damage you're going to be hitting, and if everything has a haunt on it, it's going to fucking die. Um, Soul Harvest, this is what is going to remove that damage over time instantly, creating your big nuke. Uh, you can choose anything you want. I chose the 24,000 life for every harvested enemy. Um, coupled with this Piranado, um, you can heal quite a lot, as well as killing everything. Um... So you are going to spirit walk into the thick of things um, after you've grouped them up with the Piranado and then Soul Harvest, heal up, kill everything at the same time. Uh, Locust Swarm, that pulls all the aggro, helps the mobs uh, come towards you as well as deal some damage. Uh, the damage isn't nearly as uh, significant as the haunt damage. Um, as far as passives, Creeping Death, that's absolute must-have. Uh, I don't really need to talk about that more. Um, Grave Injustice, that's going to help your Soul Harvest come off cooldown a lot faster. Gruesome Feast, it's going to help you regen your mana as well as give you that 50% intelligent bonus, which is going to in turn allow you to apply higher damage um, Haunt Ticks and Locust Swarm Ticks. Spirit Vessel helps keep you alive in those higher torments as well as reducing the cooldown of your soul harvest and your spirit walk by two seconds. Um, that's the items that you need for this, and that is the skill set. Uh, let's go kill some elite packs.
Yeah, she doesn't last very long against this build. Here we go. Need help. Need help. I you can see this is a pretty longer. shitty build. Uh, group enemies here but they go down like no problem here keep in mind we are in torment 5 um, aggroing a bunch of trash mobs like this isn't as simple as it looks it's been a mobs that get aggroed here the faster my soul harvest is gonna come off cooldown and the more area damage I can deal to these things you see it just cleared that whole screen a couple seconds no problem not ready yet It's funny when you play on a little bit lower tournaments with some people, uh, four person groups, they're fighting a boss and all of a sudden the boss just disappears. Who did that? Yeah, sorry. That was me. This is a problem if you can't round up the groups, you gotta wait for your soul harvest because right now I have no other forms of damage really other than the dot. Which it lets you kite efficiently, I mean just wait for your thing to come off cooldown. Now what you are looking for, see how it's ticking for 12 million? That means I landed a crit. Um, that will do a shit ton more damage than a non-crit. If you want to really get into it. 420% more damage. down so uh, I hope you guys like the build if you guys have any questions feel free to uh, ask me in the comments below